Our task today is making a simple connection between our Hammond M3 and our Leslie 145. There's an old Leslie connector box I found missing some parts so I thought I'd try to reuse it. We flip it over here. I've added a hole here and put a grommet on there. That's the wires will come through. There's the uh, underside. Let's turn it around. So this is a 5 amp fuse that was already there so I'm going to use that. These are the 6 pin socket for the Leslie 147. You can see signal goes to pins 1 and 6. Power in goes through 5 and also connected to 4. And that comes from the fuse. And then socket number 3 will also get power, you'll see later. When you connect socket 2 and 3 with the tremolo switch, which we'll plug in here, we'll get the Leslie to go to slow. When it's open, it goes to fast. Right now I'm just going to put a little piece of uh, metallic tape just to cover this hole so it looks nice and fingers don't get in there and touch something hot. Okay. Now you only need to connect four wires from the organ to the connector box and I'll show you where. This is on the MAM3 preamp. We'll take up off the cover. You can see I've already attached the power cables. We get power from this terminal and this terminal. So when the M3 is turned on, you'll get power to the Leslie. Okay, we have the power connected up from the M3 preamp. You can see we brought power into pin one, two, number three. Power there, and then the other side of the power comes to the end of the five amp fuse holder right there. You can always tell where you start counting. See the little knob on the underside of the plug? That's 12 o'clock. So then you start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now don't get the speaker terminals confused with the magnet energizer terminals. Okay, these are the speaker terminals. Send speaker to the cone. And these are the wires that send power to the magnet. So the magnet's only active when it gets power from the amp. So you don't want to use these. So just as a check, from the other side of these terminals, feel the, on the other side and make sure they're attached to the paper cone. Then you know they're feeding the speaker from there to the paper cone on the other side. Okay, now I've attached my audio signal in. There's pin 1 with black and there's pin 6 with the red wire. Okay. Here's a nice diagram of what we're trying to do here. And you can see we just attached the red to 6 and the black. This is audio signal 1 and 6. And you can see where we connected the power across 5 and 4 and the other power to terminal 3. Now all that's left is we'll plug in a Leslie switch which you'll see the wires go from 2 to 3. The wires will go to a terminal and when the Leslie switch is connected that slows the 147 down and when it's open the 147 is at fast speed. Back to the here's those terminals 2 and 3 and you can see there's got wires going to the plug where we plug in our Leslie switch. That's the half moon switch that makes the connection. This is a little capacitor here I think it's to, it's to stop it from popping when you turn on the power that was already there so I just left it in place seems to do the job now we're just going to find a good place to mount our Leslie connector box that looks as good as any make sure your wires are all we'll bundle those together later but now we'll just screw this down and your Leslie will plug in here and your tremolo switch will plug in there okay I have the connector box anchored down in place with two screws and you can see this one I also had a little wire grabber I put in so it holds that power cable nice and taut. Cable tied the two wires together. I think that's one of the best inventions is cable ties. So that's there. You want to make sure your fuse isn't st hanging out over the organ in case it bumps up against something and won't break it off. So have that recessed slightly. I tried to locate the connector box far enough away from the 
nearest Les uh, tube on the M3 so the Leslie cable won't knock the tubes loose. So all that's left now to, to do now is to plug our half moon switch in. She's just going to show you how that works. Of course right in there just a push in plug. There's our switch. We'll mount that on the front of the organ. By the way, you don't have to use a half moon switch. That's just the uh, vintage look and it works nicely. But any, any switch will work. Here's an old Levitron, not old, this is new. Levitron, just a light switch I mounted and I use this on a B3. It takes the place of the end cheek block on one of the keyboards. So whatever you feel like switching when you're playing. Any type of switch will work. These are a little more expensive, hard to find. On eBay, maybe 75 bucks or so. So whatever whatever works for you. By the way, it's always good to label the Leslie outlet so they know what type of Leslie it's meant for. And while I was at it, I covered up the echo control switch no, since that's been disabled and nobody will get confused. And one thing I forgot to mention, since we didn't put a main echo ensemble switch in, the uh, main M3 speaker will be on all the time. But all you have to do is just turn up the Leslie, good and loud, and the Leslie more than overpowers the sound of that little 12-inch speaker on the M3. Okay, plus that's down around your knees and the Leslie's up in your ears, so you're going to hear the Leslie much more. So it, that's why we have such a simple hookup. We didn't have to mess with switching the speaker on and off and putting a load across it. Okay, here's the M3 from the front now, and I've mounted the switch. It's kind of a custom switch I found and around it'll do the job just simple on off Leslie fast Leslie slow that's it and we run our cable underneath there's a little nice big opening there and from the back side I think it's a good idea to take off the generator cover and you can see where the wire comes in right here then I bundled it together there and then just run it over the top of the generator like this then bundle it together where the wires coming from the pedal switches down there and there it runs over to our connector box and it's two wire nuts connected there and into our plug so again I've wired tight everything together so it looks nice and neat and nothing's gonna move around now it's time to plug in our Leslie here's our nice level 147 there's the cable and we just plug that in right there we're all set to give it a shot. Okay, let's give it a try. 